Hi, welcome to Chemosis Data Online. We do research for your success. Now we are discussing on gate previous year solve problems. So just look at the given problem. The complex is K2 NiF6. So that is nickel hexafluoride complex and K2 COF6 that is cobalt hexafluoride complex. Or option A, both are paramagnetic. Option B, both are diamagnetic. And option C, paramagnetic and diamagnetic respectively and option D, diamagnetic and paramagnetic respectively. Okay, so we need to give the perfect option for given complexes. Now, just to consider the uh, first complex that is K2NiF6 in that nickel complex, in the nickel, give, nickel hexafluoride, we have nickel is in plus 4 oxidation state. Okay, nickel is in plus 4 oxidation state. So whenever nickel in plus 4 oxidation state, it has 6 electrons in its d orbital. Okay, right. So, uh, if you observe the very high charge on the metals of D-black elements, so that leads to the greater crystal field stabilization energy. Okay, and that leads to the pairing tendency of the electrons in the D-orbitals. Okay, so now by applying this information onto the D6 of the given nickel plus 4 complex, uh, whenever we take a uh, the energy levels of T2G and EG, the total six electrons only paired up in T2G level. Okay, so this is uh, due to the very uh, highly high charge on the nickel that is plus four, and that leads to the leads to the crystal field stabilization energy, and that leads to the pairing tendency of all the six electrons. Okay, then uh, by can by just looking at this information we can conclude that that six electrons are paired up in t2g so there are no unpaired electrons in the given nickel plus four uh, complex hence this is diamagnetic in nature okay right now just observe the cobalt complex that is hexafluoride cobalt hexafluoride complex in that cobalt is getting plus four oxidation state and whenever it is in plus four oxidation state it has five electrons in its d black okay the uh, d orbital sorry in d orbital of cobalt plus four then so cobalt is also in high charge that is plus four oxidation state so that leads to greater crystal field stabilization energy and that leads to pairing of electrons okay now just observe the uh, d5 electrons splitting here so if you observe uh, for splitting t2g and eg the total five electrons are placed in t2g only so this is due to high charge on it and that leads to pairing of electrons so whenever we observe the five electrons in t2g so just observe in the t2g we have a uh, two electrons and two electrons and one electron that means we get only one unpaired electron so due to the presence of unpaired electron the given cobalt complex is simply paramagnetic so from this information we can conclude that the option four that means uh, four is the correct answer that is d nickel uh, complex is diamagnetic and the given cobalt complex is paramagnetic okay thank you